Hi guys, for today's video, we are gonna doing an application of arithmetic sequence in real life. But before that, let's define first what is an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which term after the first term is formed by adding a fixed or constant number to the preceding term. The fixed number or the constant in an arithmetic sequence is called the common difference, denoted by T. We use the common difference to go from one term to another. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump to the video. Hey Rachel. Why? Come on, let's go our activity. Sure, let's go. I'm gonna prepare first my pen and paper. Okay. Here is the problem. Rachel is having a hard time answering her modules due to many activities given by her teachers. Because of this, she noticed that she's consuming too much paper. Then, she decided to record her daily consumption. First day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She consumed 5 pieces of papers. Second day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She consumed seven pieces of papers. Third day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. She consumed 11 pieces of papers. Now here's the question. How many pieces of papers will be consumed by Rachel on the 10th day if her basis was her recorded daily consumption? To find out, let's make a table first. Note, table helps you to solve a problem easier. Here's the table showing the number of days and the daily consumption of papers. Given, a sub 1 is equal to 5, a sub 2 is equal to 11, a sub 3 is equal to 17, n is equal to 10, and d is the unknown. Let's now proceed to our solution. Let's now solve for the common difference using the formula d is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Given, a sub 1 is equal to 5, A sub 2 is equal to 11, A sub 3 is equal to 17, and D is the unknown. D is equal to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. Substitute that to the given. D is equal to 11, which is A sub 2, minus 5, which is A sub 1. Then, perform the indicated operation. 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. Therefore, the common difference of the sequence 5, 11, 17 is 6. To check if the common difference is constant, let's solve for d is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Substitute that to the given. d is equal to 17 which is a sub 3 minus 11 which is a sub 2. Perform the indicated operation. 17 minus 11 is equal to 6. Therefore, the common difference of the sequence 5, 11, 17 is 6. Let's proceed and solve for the n term using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Given, a sub 1 is equal to 5, d is equal to 6, n is equal to 10, and a sub 10 is the unknown. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Substitute that to the given. A sub 10 is equal to 5 plus 10 minus 1 times 6. Then perform the indicated operation. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. 5 plus 54 is equal to 59. Therefore, the 10th term of the sequence 5, 11, 17 is 59. Let's now solve for the arithmetic means, but before that, let's solve again first the common difference using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Given, 
a sub 1 is equal to 5, a sub 10 is equal to 59, n is equal to 10, and d is the unknown. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Substitute that to the given. a sub 10 is equal to 5 plus 10 minus 1 times d. Substitute a sub 10 to 59. 59 is equal to 5 plus 10 minus 1 times d. Perform the indicated operation. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 times d is equal to 90. 59 is equal to 5 plus 90. Perform transposition. Transpose 5 to 59. 59 minus 5 is equal to 54. 54 is equal to 90. Divide both sides by 9. Cancel out 9 and divide 54 by 9. 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6. Therefore, the common difference is 6. Note. For you to get the next term, take the current term and add the common difference. Example given, a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus d. If d is equal to 6 then, for a sub 4, 17 plus 6 is equal to 23. For a sub 5, 23 plus 6 is equal to 29. For a sub 6, 29 plus 6 is equal to 35. For a sub 7, 35 plus 6 is equal to 41. For a sub 8, 41 plus 6 is equal to 47. For a sub 9, 47 plus 6 is equal to 53. And for a sub 10, 53 plus 6 is equal to 59. Therefore, 23, 29, 35, 41, 47, 53, and 59 are the missing terms of the sequence 5, 11, and 17. Now, we are going to solve for the sum of the arithmetic sequence using the general formula S sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Given, a sub 1 is equal to 5, d is equal to 6, n is equal to 10, and the unknown is S sub n. S sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Substitute that to the given. S sub 10 is equal to 10 over 2 times 2 times 5 plus 10 minus 1 times 6. Perform the indicated operation. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 9 times 6 is equal to 54, 10 plus 54 is equal to 64, 5 times 64 is equal to 320. Therefore, the sum of the arithmetic sequence 5, 11, 17 is 320. Let's check if we got the right sum. Note, for you to get the sum of the arithmetic sequence, just add all the terms. Example given. 23 plus 25 plus 27, and so on. Sum of the arithmetic sequence 5 plus 11 plus 17 plus 23 plus 29 plus 35 plus 41 plus 47 plus 53 plus 59 is equal to 320. Since we're done with our solution, let's now proceed to our reflection. What learning have you discovered in doing some TBT? I learned how to solve the common difference, and term arithmetic means, and the sum of the arithmetic sequence. Also, I noticed that sequences are everywhere, and it might happen to our life, anytime and everywhere. I learned how important sequence was and how useful situation and things are especially on math because by this we can get a lot of example that we can apply or relate in real life. I've learned that many sequences may occur to our lives but some are not and few of them may not be seen by our naked eyes. If you wanted to learn something, do not focus on an old thing but to discover a new one. By that, we can apply the concepts of sequences on it. Why do you be able to use these ideas in your life? How and why? Yes, by caring and remembering those ideas wherever I go. Because those might help me to achieve or to solve one problem alone. Yes, by means of applying those ideas in different things and situations in life. 
Those ideas are very useful on us, especially on me, because I can use that as my guide on my next journey. Also, it has a big impact on me to change my perspective about simple things around us, and thinking of them that they have a great contribution on mathematics, especially in sequences. To summarize that, math is everywhere. This is the end of our video, and we hope that you have learned something. God bless! Ang crush ay parang math problem. Kung hindi mo makuha, titigan mo na lang. Outs, gege.